Welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. In today's episode, we're going to be sowing and germinating sweet peppers, also known as bell peppers. If you're not already subscribed to us at Learn How to Garden, there's a link just here on my right. And if you click on that, it'll take you to the website, input your email address. It means you get information not available on the video aggregators, the written posts. You get the free monthly newsletter and all the other things that we're doing at Learn How to Garden. Sweet peppers are one of my favorite things to grow in the greenhouse. And that's because they're so useful. We can use them raw in salads. We can stuff them. We can roast them and they take on that beautiful sweetness. But if you're going to grow them, make sure you go for varieties that have extra taste. Again, it's all about the taste. You can buy these in supermarkets and they are quite expensive. But if you'll notice, we've got two different types we're going to grow here. In fact, I grow three different types. And we've got a red and a yellow. The green peppers that you see for sale in the shops are actually just normal peppers that aren't ripe. And we've all been, um, if you like, sold this story that green peppers are different. And the only reason that we have green peppers is because they can be picked earlier, therefore they can get to market quicker. But if you eat green peppers, they're the ones that can sometimes give you problems with indigestion. Some people, it sort of certainly makes them um, get, I'm ever so sorry. The whining in the background is my young rescue uh, English pointer called Hattie. So I'll continue and uh, hopefully sort of, she won't be too much of a uh, pain. So the peppers that we grow will start off green. And then this one here, which is um, Quattrato, will eventually go red. And the Galliardo de Asti will eventually go yellow. But we sow them all in the same way. The other one that I grow is called Topio Rosso, which is a, again a small, squat, thick-walled red pepper, fantastic for stuffing. Anybody who follows me here will know that I'm quite keen on using seeds of Italy. And the reason that I use them is they have a fantastic provenance and also it's all about the taste. And sweet pepper seed is quite big, so it's easy to sow, much, much easier than chili peppers. And the two ways you could sow it, you could take a normal seed tray, fill that with a normal seed compost, sprinkle your peppers on so they're about a centimetre apart, put a tiny bit of vermiculite on the top into the propagator. But for things that are like this, by far the easier way is to use individual uh, small modules, or in this case these are Jiffy 7s. And all we do is take our dibber, make a small indentation in the top. We take a single seed, drop it in, take a tiny bit of fine vermiculite, drop that onto the top, and that will go into a propagator at between 21 and 27 degrees. It will take between 7 and 14 days to germinate. And peppers have a really, really good germination. You probably only need to sow three or four more seeds than the amount of plants you will need. Um, you will get a great germination with them. So we drop the seed into the Jiffy 7. Tiny bit of vermiculite. The reason we use vermiculite, it does two things. It allows a tiny bit of light onto the seed but it also keeps the moisture content perfect for germination. It doesn't allow it to dry out, but it also doesn't allow it to get too wet. If you've not seen Jiffy 7s before, they arrive as a little flat, either they used to be peat, they're now, now not, they are coir-based disc. You add water and they expand. Single seed dropped in vermiculite. And I shall do this whole tray. I'll label it up into the propagator. As soon as they're germinated, we'll take them out of that warm propagator and we'll either put them on a heat mat or another propagator, which is again, that will be kept at about 20 degrees so that the bottom of the plant is still warm, but the top is much cooler so they grow slowly. Again, the trick is to grow these slowly. You can either grow them in a grow bag, which we'll show you later, or you can grow a single pepper quite happily in a five litre um, pot. 
as long as you've got quite nice potash rich, potash rich growing media. And that is simply how to sow and germinate sweet or bell peppers.